Hey guys, welcome back to the tropics. We've got 29 Celsius in the greenhouse today. Yay, almost touching on 30. Actually, it was 30 when I opened the door, but now it's uh, it went down quick, one degree. So yeah, uh, I'll be giving you guys a look at the, the tropicals here from the greenhouse in uh, a few days probably Monday or Tuesday so uh, it's gonna be again the good the bad and the ugly um, mangoes have done pretty good overall and, and as I've said they can survive outdoors in the winter but they get a better chance in uh, under protection so We still have the um, the ugly that um, I don't know if they've survived. We'll do a close-up inspection in the coming days, and uh, see what's new. I'm I'm excited. Are you guys excited with the uh, first update out of winter? So, stay tuned, coming up in a few days. It's an absolutely beautiful day today, 20 Celsius. Well, that's what they said, I haven't checked yet. It might be like 19, 21, I don't know. But very windy. We've had a lot of wind here in Melbourne. A couple of days ago, uh, there you go. A couple of days ago, a few thousand homes lost power. And a couple of thousand homes lost um, parts of their roof. So, pretty scary stuff. Thankfully, there hasn't been any damage here at uh, Fruitopia. Only banana leaves been shredded to pieces. That's the extent of the damage. Yeah, so... There you go. There you go. Been doing that now for... This is day three. Day three of uh, these winds. Yeah, temperature under the ice cream bean is exactly 20. So they got it right. Wow. We hit our first 20 degree day in winter. Well, the final few days of winter. That's pretty good. That's around 68 Fahrenheit. Yay. Pretty wrapped with that. I'm out here getting a suntan again today. Mate, I'm taking advantage of every moment of sunshine here in uh, Melbourne during winter. I'm an official whitey. An official whitey, guys. Look at that white skin. I know white color is treasured in some countries, but I tell you what, it's absolutely loathed here in um, well, in my um, in my world, got out an old pole I had, forgot all about it, to uh, grab the ice cream beans up the top. It's an extension pole that goes up around, um, I think it's four meters or five meters. So this shouldn't be a problem getting every last bean. So now we're at the um, peak season of the uh, stone fruit flowering. That's a plum. That's another plum there, the one I butchered about a month ago. No problem. Butcher hard, butcher hard, guys. Look, still gonna give us fruit, even with a heavy butchering. Don't be afraid. 
at all those flowers. Did some more mulching yesterday. All the macadamia cuttings, branches, whatever you want to call it. Straight in here for the uh, bananas. Got some more um, branches and cuttings to disperse. These are from the loquat that I um, pruned a few days ago. And uh, stone fruit cuttings from a month ago. Just letting it sit there in the background behind the, um, in the backyard. Yeah, free mulch. Make your own mulch, guys. Yeah, so the stars, as I said, now are stone fruit. Beautiful. You only get this for about two or three weeks. So here it is for you guys. This will all be gone by the end of September. And now is also the time for um, lovers of flowers. All the lilies are coming back too. Look at that. These grew by themselves. I just planted a few cuttings in here two years ago. Right? Cuttings. Just stuck them in the dirt. And now there's a, like a lily field here. These don't like summer. They can't stand the heat. So they die back in, uh, at Christmas. And they come back in winter. Winter and spring is their um, um, preference. Not summer. No way. I've got these all over the garden, front, back, sides. I told you guys that when the temperature gets close to 20, the banana flower starts to um, move. And there it is moving. See that? We're getting a banana blossom coming right up in a few days. Now that the temperatures have uh, peaked. Yeah, you won't get that um, with 10, 12, 14, 15, 16. You'll only get it around 19, 20, 21. See, I told you. We've got bananas coming, guys. And a lot of wind. A lot of wind. Take a look at that. This is a plum cot. A hybrid between plum and apricot in one. Wow! Now's its time to shine for a couple of weeks. Yeah, these are our first plums that are ready. Um, the first week of summer, which is um, early December. First cabs off the rank. Beautiful. Yeah, we love spring. We sure do. How can you not love this? And this. This is the donut peach, also known as satin peach in America. Or the flat peach. Coming your way. Look at that. Wow. Mesmerizing. Huh? And the pink camellia right behind it. And the bees are going cray cray. Yep. If you have a smart TV, ultra high definition, 4K, make sure you um, take advantage of this video. I'm filming it today at 60 frames per second. Ultra high definition, just for these colors. So, as I say every year, create your own botanical gardens, guys. You don't even need to go to the park or to the fruit market. Check this out. The red camellia. Stunning.
Alrighty, I think I'm going to wrap it up now with this walk down these uh, beautiful flowers here. A lot more coming up. Don't forget to like and um, comment and share and also to subscribe if you're new to this channel. Okay guys, don't forget to put on the bell as well to be notified of uh, any new videos. See you from the next video.